morning guys <laughs> so, sorry so i was um doing i was preparing to do this video and i thought i had it on the video screen but it was a picture screen so i'm all like ready and it was just like snapping fix but here we go hi guys uh gyra back here with coco cares and today we're talking about that was a drum roll if you guys could hear it self-esteem the big the big the big self the big self esteem esteem you guys i used to act okay we're not gonna get into this because every time you know the actor or the musical musician comes out of me i take it back to my debut but let's just stay on topic and so self-esteem i'm really big on self-esteem guys i really struggled with my self-esteem growing up um, and now I feel like I'm a little beautiful, confident butterfly. Still humble though, must be humble. Um, but I really did struggle with my self-esteem and the way I saw myself and um, knowing if I was great or if I was worthy growing up. And you are because God made you worthy. And I believe once you understand, um, once you have a relationship with Christ and once you understand who you are and whose you are, that self-esteem, that confidence comes easy because now you know it's not from your own self-doings, obviously, um, but it's from what God already has done for you and then resting in that and allowing the Holy Spirit to take you by the hand and show you things that you can practically do in this natural world in order to um, understand the worth that he's already given you and boost your self-confidence and boost your self worth I think that is where it starts and so um, Webster or Google um, defines self-esteem as the importance and the appreciation that you give to yourself and I think that goes hand in hand with self-love and self-care and even mental health you know um, I'm a real big believer on mental health because I think it's it really kind of um, it determines the way that you act and you think of it eventually and um, the way you you operate and so if you're not good in your mind you're not going to be good in the world and so um, I take some I would take some time guys to really sit down and be like okay how do I feel about myself you know how do I think that I do and it's not about um, trying to perform for anybody, but I think it's more about having a self-awareness, having a self-confidence that you know, um, I am okay with me. And even if I'm in a difficult situation or even if I'm in something that is not ideal, I am willing to learn and to get the help, which knowledge is power. So, well, applied knowledge is power. But even knowing a thing um, I believe helps you operate better because once you know how to do something and you feel comfortable uh, about the basics, you kind of move like as if you're a genius, even though you probably just learned yesterday. And so um, that's why it's applied knowledge is power. Um, but I feel things that I have started to incorporate in my own life to boost my self-esteem is one, don't listen to people. You know, there's, you know, inner court, outer court, holies of holies. Only the people that are in your holies of holies are normally the people that are going to tell you what is what, you know, and, and tell you that in love. They're not telling you for like their own selfish gains or to break you down. And so if, if you have somebody in your life that you know is not really of your holies of holies, um, cause sometimes intercourse could be a little shaky too. Um, then don't listen to people, listen to yourself, listen to that inner voice, you know, that intuition that's very strong. I believe women and men have intuition, um, that, you know, they say women's are a, a bit stronger, but I haven't researched anything, but, um, listen to your intuition and be consistent with yourself. I feel as though when you are consistent with yourself, you build confidence. And when you build confidence, you know that you're showing up good. You know that you're doing things right. You know that you're willing to learn. You know that you're um, going to get it right. You know that no one's going to outwork you. And that is a self-esteem that nobody can give you, you know? So being confident 
um, I'm sorry, being consistent with yourself, I think that um, could be, you know, that could be a, a key foundation of where your self-esteem grows. Um, and give yourself a schedule, you know, give yourself something that you can follow where you know you're taking care of your mind, you're taking care of your heart, you're taking care of your body, um, and you're planning for the future. Because I believe when you know where you're going, you walk different, you know? You just walk like kings and queens when you know what you're going. But when you don't know where you're going and you're aimlessly just like trying to figure it out, trying to latch on to something, then your self-esteem is shot because whatever you latch on to, now you're trying to become that thing and you have all eyes on you. So if you fail or if you mess up, it's like, oh my God, now you're shaking. They can see you weak and then people just like, you ain't got this, you know, but when you know what you're going and you're not just throwing things to the wall and seeing what sticks, but it's like, no, this worked for me regardless if you like it or not, that confidence, that self-esteem is like, this is a lion walking, okay? It's just out there. And so um, those are th three big, really big things that I, I um, settle on. What did I say? Let me take it back. Sorry, I just be speaking off the dome, y'all. And so let me think, what did I say? consistency be consistent have a schedule rewind it and then you know let's just move keep it moving you know but um definitely my biggest thing is being consistent being consistent with yourself and being honest with yourself when you're honest with yourself I think you can begin to trust yourself and you know you're you're able to weigh you know the good and the bad but when you're definitely not honest with yourself you get into situations and then you start questioning the situation or questioning the person but it's really you want to question yourself because you if you were in your right mind or if you were um knowing where you were going you would have been like yeah no nah, this is not for me but um i love you guys i gotta start my day <laughs> i'll talk to you soon bye